Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is another serious topic I definitely want to talk about. And, um, excuse me for a minute because I'm going to get close on real quick. Um, all right. This is a topic I definitely wanted to talk about for some time now. Um, I had to think about it for a minute. Um, and just, you know, first of all, I had to pray on it because y'all know when I go in, I go in and I, I'm very relentless sometimes. Um, I, I just have to really talk about this subject because it's so close and dear to my soul and, you know, people may like it, people may get educated by it, but people, you know, may get turned off by it, which is fine, you know. People have their preference. People may not like discussing things, you know, but I'm the type of person that has to discuss this, okay? I wanted to talk about, um, you know, bias in the media when it comes to the LG LGBT murders. And I'm, this, I'm really particularly focused on LGBT um, of color murders, like people that are black, that are part of the LGBT um, community. And it's been weighing on my soul, actually, for the last four months. Um, recently, we had a young lady who was um, shot and burned in her car, and she didn't live far from my mother here in Washington, D.C. She was, you know, and she happened to be a um, young gay woman. Um, not too long ago, probably like a year ago, around not too long ago, we had a um, young lady who was murdered not that far from my house. She was a trans woman um, of color. And it, 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 it hurts my soul, honestly, when you hear about people being murdered because of their um, orientation, you know what I'm saying? Or what they feel in their soul, you know? Um, it still baffles me in a way, even in 2018 that, you know, when it comes to LGBT issues in the black community, yes, we have came somewhat away, but we're not as progressive as we think, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it just, it's not surprising due to the fact we're here because of a lot of history um, a, 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 the religious aspect of it, um, um, hyper masculinity in our community, you know, things like that. Um, and then assumptions as usual, assumptions as usual. Um, and then with the violence, jokes about violence towards trans women or trans men of color, especially, is sickening. Um, well, especially like last summer when the, it came up that Lil Duval made jokes about um, if he found out somebody he was dating was really a trans um, um, person, like a trans woman, he he joked about killing her. Here's my thing. If people are, my thing is, people are human. And... People always have an excuse why people, they always say, oh, people should be honest about who they are. The f f fucked up part about it is, and I know I cussed, the fucked up part about it is even when motherfuckers are honest about who they are, people still going to look at them sideways. And that may not be your cup of tea. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. But how can you want honesty when, a, when your honesty makes your stomach sick? How can you say you you love a community or you accept the community, but you can sit up there and make excuses about jokes about trans women being murdered, um, making excuses that they lie? If that's the case, all of us should be being murdered because we all lied about something at one point in time. It just baffles me because... It, this, it, it baffles me in a way because 
people say, oh, I still bang with you. I still this and that, the other. But then I just wonder, yeah, you bang. You say you do. But I wonder if my death will actually be um, be important if I die. Or it's like people would dismiss it. Oh, I mean, they didn't mention it. It really doesn't matter. I mean, it shouldn't matter. It may not matter to you because some people, you are uh, heterosexual. You don't have to worry about um, being murdered because of your sexual orientation. You don't have to be worried about a hate crime unless it's race. Well, of course, if it's race, yes. But you don't have to be worried about um, being judged on your orientation or anything. You don't have to worry about that. So, and it's like with some people, they just say, oh, back in the day, they kept it to themselves. you damn right they kept it to themselves because of the fucked up judgmental um, environment we live in. And we still fucking live in, even in 2018. You know, people may say we're doing better, but I think, honestly, we're going to be worse. And I honestly feel, especially for black LGBT folks, we may not see on full acceptance probably until two or three generations down because it's certainly not going to come down. And this is just me being honest. And I've been in the community for 24 years, um, actually 24 years in June. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'll am i be 34 in September. But it's just a lot. And that's all I have to say on it.